Thinking mainly international, think. I feel like I'm waiting for the bus. First day of school. Doesn't it start at six? You're gonna be here in three minutes, Jeff? Really? Really? Oh, thinking international. Here we are. Star Bucks. Starbucks. Once again, what is an event or anything without Starbucks? I had to borrow my mom's car. <laughs> <laughs> this is my mom's car. Mine's not this nice. Some people roll jet planes and champagne. We roll Hyundais and lattes. And most what some bracket things do disappear. Trams. Kapow. Big block of ice. Dr. Dave Martin. Fish eye. So that's like a it's a whole it's a whole little setup. Wow. We're, we're here uh, at the Rock Church in Monroe. We just got done with the success seminar. I'm here with an inspirational speaker, success coach, author, father, husband, part-time comedian, Dr. Dave Martin. How you doing, Dr. Dave? Well, I'm doing great. How you doing? I'm excited to be here, excited to see what you're doing and be a part of it. Tell, can you tell us a little bit about your ministry? Dave Martin International. We go in the church arena, in the secular arenas, businesses, coaching, a little bit of everything, just helping people think different. I, I like that, think there international. So if you can change someone's thinking, you can change their life. Now you're coming out with a new book. Yeah, we got a brand new book coming out, coming out called 12 Traits of the Greats. And yeah, we've just studied the great uh, success people, either in the Bible or even in the world, and found traits in their life that cause them to be a success. Can you give us a, just a, a tidbit from one of the one of the 12? Uh, well, one of them is, is talking about, well, since we're on Think International, I'll talk about your belief system. Because, like I said, if you change your thing, you change your life. And so if we can get people to believe, no matter what the critics say, no matter what the experts say, if you believe that it's possible, it's possible. And Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're right. You can start that business. You can do that. Uh, I used the illustration tonight of Van Gogh. And the experts told him his paintings were horrible. It wasn't any good. He shouldn't paint. He should just quit and try to do something else. But he believed in himself. He kept painting. He kept doing it. During his lifetime, he only sold two paintings. And those two were to his brother. So you know, at least his brother believed <laughs> yeah, in him. But, uh, but he kept painting. He kept believing. Today, his paintings are all across the country, all around the world, actually, in museums and art collections, valued at over $1 billion. Why? Because he believed in himself. He kept doing what he loved to do and his belief system is what caused him to to yeah to really accomplish things you, you might have heard of 1954 no one had ever run a mile in under four minutes till 1954 roger bannister ran a mile in under four minutes before that they didn't think it could be done our bodies weren't made that way our muscles just couldn't do it but 1955 30 people ran a mile in under four minutes 1956 100 people ran a mile in under four minutes today you can go to a high school track meet and see people run a mile in under four minutes oh god what changed that day? It wasn't our muscles, it wasn't the way we run, it was our thinking. It wasn't a time barrier that was broken that day, it was a mind barrier that was broken that day. Probably the most important question of the evening, um, who's the better rapper, Lil Wayne or Eminem? Eminem, for sure. Thank you so much, Dave. Appreciate hey, man, it. Thank you, thank you. Hey, thank you for your support of, of Think International. I believe in it, you should believe in it, because it's changing people's thinking and that's changing their life. <laughs> Are you one of those people that when your friends are going to pick you up at like 5, it's like 5.10 and they're honking the horn? Or are you one of those people that waits in the driveway ahead of time to get picked up like me? Comment below, what kind of person are you?